the mystics. We have arrived. The first artifact is ours! Sleeping, they're meditating. There's a difference, Raf. Not in my book. Oh, so much danger. Never wanted this for them. Uh, Splinter, I cannot meditate with you muttering like that. Besides, my butt has fallen asleep. My apologies, Ancient One. But the Ninja Tribunal troubles me more each day. I cannot allow their foolish judgment to cost me my family. Not again. Your sons are capable. Sort of. Um, hello? We're like five feet away? How about showing a little tact? Master Splinter, when you say the Ninja Tribunal cost you your family, what... what are you talking about? I am talking about my beloved Master Yoshi, and of a time in the past. Yoshi-san was a guardian then, pledged to protect the Utram. He came to enlist the Ninja Tribunal's aid. Yoshi was my prized pupil, but he insisted on becoming a guardian. My lords, we must form an alliance. The Shredder's threat is beyond imagining. This alien bug imposter you call the Shredder is nothing to us. He is not the real Shredder. Do not underestimate him. He may even channel the evil of the one you fear. A distraction. We must remain vigilant against a return of the true Shredder. Masters, please reconsider. We have spoken. Go now and trouble us no more. The mighty Ninja Tribunal ignored my master's warnings. And because of the Tribunal's cold indifference, one of the countless victims of the Utram Shredder would be my master Yoshi. And the Tribunal did nothing. Oh. Nothing. 
had the tribunal heeded Yoshi, my master might be alive today. The tribunal sees a bigger picture than we do, Splinter. At least I hope they do. Is anybody gonna tell us what the shell is going on here? Real Shredder, True Shredder, Utram Shredder? How many Shredders are there? My sons, it is time you know the true story of how this all began. Of an evil darker than all evils. A primal force of malevolence that was and is the original Shredder. No one really knows what level of the Dark Depths spawned him, but... Back in the year 300 AD in Yamato, the Shredder rose from some foul stinking pit in the form of a terrible Tengu, a demon that had but one goal, to subjugate the world and to turn it into his own personal empire, full of agony and destruction. <laughs> the Shredder Tengu spread his evil everywhere. He seemed unstoppable. <laughs> but there were five great warriors in Japan at that time. Their courage and their victories were legendary. And you, young pups, have already had the honor of meeting them. There was Hizomi. Chikara. <laughs> Juto! Con. And perhaps the most skilled and ambitious of them all. Moroku Saki. Saki? Shredder's fake human identity? He was real? Don't interrupt, Leonardo. Just listen. So, these five great warriors were summoned before the Emperor, who informed them they were the world's last hope. Whoa! No pressure or anything. The Empire's greatest craftsmen had forged armor for the warriors. Special armor engraved with protective spells and talismans of purity. Armor they would soon wear into battle against the evil Shredder Tengu. They refuse to give up. They had vowed to fight to the very end.
The Emperor held a great celebration and decreed that the warriors would be known as the Five Dragons. There could be no higher honor. He awarded them their own banner, the three-toed sign of the dragon. But the celebration was premature. Saki's battle with the Tengu had been fought on more than the physical plane. I am Oroku Saki, demon. There is greatness in you, warrior. I can make you a god among these insects. Every wish fulfilled, every dream made real. You could rule all, have all. Just allow me inside your soul, and the world will be yours. Demon's words ignited some dark part of Saki. He accepted the offer. Invisibly, the Shredder's evil spirit merged with Saki's. So that even as the warrior landed the final blow, the Tengu was only an empty vessel. The dark spirit of the Shredder had filled Oroku Saki. And now, he was host to the greatest evil the world had ever known. <laughs> Oroku Saki's betrayal plunged Japan into an age of darkness. The malevolent essence of the Shredder swelled within him and all around him. There seemed no limit to the evil of which he was capable. <laughs> Having created an impenetrable stronghold, and his only true opposition destroyed, Saki became the most feared warlord of all. His name was spoken in whispers. And the name they all whispered was... The dragons vowed to defeat the Shredder at all costs. They needed to increase their power, so they sought out mystical knowledge. The ancient spells and wisdom that would allow them to stand against the Shredder's might. They studied hard and learned much. The dragons scoured the globe for masters of the mystic arts who would be willing to teach them. More than warriors, more than merely human. The dragons evolved, becoming forces of nature themselves. the Shredder once more. My old friends, are you in such a hurry to meet your doom? 
It is time to pay for your crimes, Shredder. You fools are the only ones that will pay. Pay with your pathetic lies! This time, when the Shredder attacked, the dragons were ready. of true power, and you shall be destroyed! His dragon avatar, a foul monstrosity. His decayed spirit made flesh. But the four heroes were prepared even for this. Their training allowed them to tap into the eternal energies of the astral plane. And they too manifested their dragon avatars. Dragons of purity and light and power. Battle of Dragon against Dragon! was defeated, the Shredder could not be destroyed. His dark magic was too great. So, the four heroes had to figure out a way to keep him and his evil contained forever. What? What are you doing? The dragon's power kept him helpless as they placed him in what they prayed would be his final resting place. I will return! This world will be mine! You will pay for this! You will- Since that fateful day, the Tribunal has kept a careful vigil over Shredder's helmet, gauntlet, and body. For if these three artifacts ever were to come together, the Shredder could very well be revived. Wow! 1700 years! That's one long vigil! They knew the Shredder's evil would never die. They began training others, those that could help them in their fight. Acolytes chosen for their potential and purity of heart. The Tribunal taught an art of fighting with the power of the dragon at its core which would become known as Ninjitsu. And these immortals, the remaining dragons, became known as the Ninja Tribunal. So there was a real Shredder, and the alien Utram Shredder we fought was an imposter who was just using the name of the original demon Shredder to gain respect. 
And this original Shredder has all sorts of butt-kicking magic powers that almost destroyed the Ninja Tribunal. And now someone's trying to resurrect him. The greatest evil the world has ever known. And the only ones who even know about this are cute, green, and weigh the shell out of our league! Um, any chance we could still go home? No, I didn't think so.